Hey artists, it's Monster Paws. So today we're going to be learning how to package and ship prints. So what you're gonna need is your prints and some backing that you can get from clearbags.com and also some clear bags from clearbags.com. I think it's always a good idea to sign your prints and pretty much brand them as yours because, I mean, why not? It's your art, so you may as well sign it. And also, I think it gives a little bit more value to a print whenever the artist signs it themselves. I always like to make sure that my prints fit the backing. These are 4x6 prints and the backing is 4x6, but sometimes, you know, measurements are off, so I always make sure that they fit. I like to slide the backing into the cello bag first before I put the uh, print in there, just because that's just the way I prefer to do it. You can put both of them in there at the same time. Make sure when you do put your print in there that the flap is on the back of the package instead of on the front. It just makes it look a lot better. Then I slide in the print, make sure it's lined up with the backing and that the corners are not sticking out so that they don't get ruined in transit. These are new business cards that I just had printed, so I'm just gonna slide them in the back of the print. Obviously the person knows who you are if they're buying art from you, but that person may have friends that don't know who you are, so that person can also give your business card to their friend, and voila, you've just made another customer. After I feel confident with the way everything looks in the bag, then I go ahead and take off the protective strip on the adhesive and then go ahead and seal the bag right up. After that, I go ahead and repeat that process about 10 more times. <laughs> Because these prints are exclusively for patrons, I like to put a little handwritten note. I just think it makes it a little bit more personal and gives it a little bit more of a flair. When I'm just sending a single 4x6 print, I use these 4x6 envelopes. I just got them at Walmart. They were like five bucks for, I think, a hundred of them. Then you just slide your print in there. If you're sending a handwritten note, make sure it doesn't get messed up. Make sure that your print is sturdy enough and that it's not going to bend. If you don't think it's sturdy enough, you can go ahead and add another piece of backing or a piece of cardboard and make it a little bit more sturdy. I find that one piece of backing usually is enough, so that's all I use. Then I go ahead and put my return address in the top left hand corner. and then their address goes in the center. And then you go ahead and add your stamp to the top right hand corner. Usually one stamp is enough. Um, I've never had an issue with having to have more than one stamp, so if you're sending one 4x6 print in an envelope, it shouldn't be an issue. Moving on to medium-sized originals, the way I pack them in the package is exactly the same as the way I package small prints, but the way that I pack them for shipping is a little bit different. I don't add a business card to the originals because I'm sending a smaller print which already has one. For shipping bigger prints and originals, I use a bubble mailer that's a little bit bigger than the biggest print that I'm shipping. Because I'm shipping originals and I don't want them to get damaged at all and they're a little bit bigger and more flimsy than the 4x6 prints, I cut some more backing in half. This is 14 by 17 backing for bigger drawings. And then I pretty much make an art sandwich and sandwich the print and the original in between the two backing pieces and slide it into the bubble mailer. If you're shipping international and you're worried about the weight of the package, I would suggest using maybe foam board, something that's really light but also sturdy as well. I used the backing because that's what I had on hand. When I'm satisfied and everything feels nice and sturdy, then I go ahead and seal up the envelope. Just like with the regular envelopes, I put my return address in the top left hand corner and the recipient's address in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
I like to write do not bend nice and big on both the front and the back of all the packages just to make sure that everyone handling the packages knows that this is fragile and please don't bend it. <laughs> Once you're done, your local postal worker should be able to help you send off your new packaged prints to their new home. If you liked this video and it helped you out, don't forget to smack that ass on that like button. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat. All the links are in the description below. You can also check out my Patreon if you liked these prints at patreon.com slash monsterpaws. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, don't quit your daydream.